is good Greg gang me and Abrams out here today we got a package that literally may just change our lives forever it is coming all the way from Pennsylvania I think from Luke Webster we have a box but not just any box but this box contains 50 pounds of tannerite. Maybe not 50, maybe it's just one, but it's still tannerite. If you don't know what tannerite is, if you have ever saw a civilian truly blow something up, it was most likely tannerite. So I definitely want to give a big shout out to Luke. Thank you so much, and we are definitely going to put that to use today. So we're sitting here thinking, like, what should we blow up? And then we thought, and we's like, well, we really don't know yet, but we're about to find something out. I don't have any experience with it, and I truly don't know how big this explosion's actually gonna be. But we're definitely about to find out. And before we get too far into the video, I just wanna ask you guys, if you're not a part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe. Be a part of the family. Without further ado, boys, let's get started. So Abram actually doesn't know what I'm here to do right now, but we're actually here to kidnap somebody. Are you ready for this? Heck yeah. Mission accomplished. Wait, wait, wait! Over here! Over here! Ah! <laughs> All right, we got him. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, we got it, we got it. We got you now, bro. Oh, what are you going to do, my dude? Uh, Boy, what are you trying to do? You got a spider on your face. Looks like you need some diatomaceous earth. Hey, man, we forgot his hat. There we go. Now he's broke, bro. So, bro, bro, do you forgive us for what we've done today? I actually never liked you. I'm going to be honest, man. I just kind of saw that coming. But, bro, bro, we want to be nice to you. Before we blow you up, we want to give you a little bit more KG merch. Right now, you got the SSOG hat and the SSOG shirt. But don't worry, man. We're about to hook you up. Up. The first official KG sponsorship. First thing we're gonna gift Brocro is these two KG Predator gloves right here. Get rid of these because you know they're not KG gloves. Therefore, they're not cool. Mm, okay, looks like I put I put yeah, I put them on there pretty good. Oh yeah, looking better already. We're also gonna gift him with a brand new authentic apple. Where's it from actually? Washington. Straight out of Washington, DC. <laughs> Ah, uh, same thing. We also had Bro Crow some socks until we realized he didn't have feet. So we gave him the Abram instead. Right there, we got some Bucky socks. We also got Jaeger socks up on the side if you'd like to choose from those. But as of now, Abram kind of stole his socks. We're going to give Bro Crow a Predator Grey Gripper. But I'm not done yet. And a KG waterproof sticker he will never forget. We have Abram here. He is the self-proclaimed sticker expert. He has worked with stickers an entire three weeks and does not have any plans of stopping. With surgical precision, he's going straight for the forehead, right where it is most oblinkulent. And I totally just made up a word, but still. Oh, there we go. Finishing touches. Can he do it? I wouldn't call it my best work. But it's definitely better than mine. Now all we need is the tannerite. Now this tannerite, it really is no joke. I have no idea what we're doing and I have to be very careful. That way I don't die. I'm just kidding guys. This stuff's pretty safe. It's just stand back a hundred yards. Really? Wait, wait, wait. Let me see if it actually did say that. Yes, it did. It did. I don't know if I can shoot 100 yards. Improper use of this product may cause injury or death. Do not place targets inside, under, or near any metal, rock, or foreign objects, as this is dangerous and constitutes improper use. We recommend elevating the target above the ground to reduce the amount of flying debris and fire risk. Do not use target in locations where the general fire will. However, consumers are warned that various factors such as improper use, improper mixing, bullet sparks, the addition of other chemicals, or other conditions that can result in fires when shooting the targets. <laughs> Please store at room temperature in a dry location. <laughs> I believe Bro Crow has just suffered some physical trauma. Oh, <laughs> Bro Crow, your face is gone. <laughs> Jam it in there. <laughs> oh, part of his face just came off. Scalpel. Is he gonna make it? I don't know, I just dropped a piece of his skull down there. <laughs> well, anyway, Bro Crow, here's your apple. Okay, guys, so we're actually back about 100. We're, we're about 97, I ain't gonna say 100. But anyways, we're about 96 yards back. It's said to get at least about 100 yards away, but we are shooting it with a 22, which is pretty long range for a 22. We're definitely gonna have to calculate some bullet drop, but we have a water bottle set out there right now. You know, we're gonna practice on it first. I've already calculated, you know, the ballistics and stuff. I'm pretty sure that this particular bullet shot out of this particular gun, sighted in at 30 yards, drops about eight inches from a hundred yards so i'm actually gonna hold about you know four inches above the water bottle should hit it center mass here we go i'm gonna see what happens so here we go guys we ready i have a lot of confidence with this scope guys i mean it is you know gray optics so i better have a lot of confidence uh-huh i, I kind of 
shook right there. That's okay, because I didn't hit it. There you go. And that's exactly, that's exactly what I was talking about. I have a lot of confidence in this scope. One shot, one kill. <laughs> so right now we have Abram, you know, he's, he's spotted up. He's in the sniper's nest for a second. We're going to give him a few shots before we actually, you know, take care of bro Crow the, uh, the, the big the big boy way. All right, Abram, take aim at him. Abram's actually just going to shoot bro Crow in the eye just because we don't really have another target to shoot. All right, three, two, one. Um, oh, you got him, didn't you? I think you got the side of his face. Okay, guys, we're about ready to go. We're going to go ahead and start mixing. It comes with this thing of white pellets, as you see there. And then you pour the, the small one in the big one, just like that right there. And then you get whatever's in this red packet, also known as a catalyst. And you also pour it in there. Oh, wow, that kind of looks scary, not going to lie. And then... And now we mix it all together until all of it's, you know, pretty equal. We'll let Abram do it. He does this kind of stuff all the time. Not just Tannerite either. Tannerite, Tannermite, Tannerlite, Lanerite, 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 Sclanerite, Kylanite. Yeah. Alder, Aldenite. I saw you do that a few times. What? Good old uh, Kylanite. Kylanite, yeah, that's the... That's the good stuff. You think that's good? I mean, it says mix until all the pellets are gray, and I mean, that looks pretty gray to me. It looks about like my last name. And now it says to actually put it back in the small container, so. Here we go, moment of truth. Just don't do anything fast. <laughs> is it on there? No. no. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that. Well, and so now, guys, we're going to come over here, plant it on Bro Crow. I think right there, a little shoulder mount, right there. That should be perfect. They say aim right for the orange sticker. We can do that. We can hit it, as we saw with the water bottle. And so now, guys, we're just going back up and let it rip. Okay, guys, here we go. We're putting one in the chamber. We're lassoed up. Abram, you ready for this? Yep. All right, here we go. Well... We're having technical malfunction here. Please stand by. <laughs> okay. You're kidding me. What in the world? <laughs> what in the world is that? What do we do now? What do we do now? <laughs> oh, let's go look at it. We may try to salvage it. I, th I think I definitely know the problem. That's the sad part. I 100% know the problem. I'm pretty sure the reason it didn't work right there is because we were supposed to use a center fire rifle. And the 22 that we're using, it is a rim fire rifle. Now, the main difference between two is actually velocity. The average 22 bullet, it travels about 1,200 feet per second out the barrel. And now I've moved over to this gun right here. This is actually my Ruger American 223. It's actually the gun I killed my deer with. And it travels almost two and a half times as fast as the 22. So, uh, yeah, this one right here, it should definitely get the job done. If it doesn't, I don't really know. I'll probably go in the house and cry. Now, fun fact about this gun, there's not going to be any, you know, adjusting for ballistics. This is a straight shot going to hit it. Right there's the bullet. It's a whole lot bigger. Now, one warning. This one is not a quiet gun. <laughs> here we go. Oh, wait, wait. Hang on. Wait, wait. What? I forgot Bro Crow was over there. Dude, he's gone. Oh, snap. That's my fam. No worry, guys. Bro Crow is basically just a scream mask, so we can always just get another one. Okay, guys. Let's go look at the evidence. So here's actually what it looked like from our view. Oh, snap, dude. That was insane. It was kind of a delay because, you know, the speed of the bullet. Okay, let's go actually look for Bro Crow. I don't even know if he's still alive. Obviously, I'd say not, though. Wait, okay. Oh, you know what we should have done? What? A time lapse. That would have been sick. Oh, whoa. Someone. Look how it lights it up. Lights up those trees. Dude! <laughs> First thing I noticed, here's Bro Crow's hand. Are you kidding me? I have Bro Crow's hand. Oh, dude! His face is gone. His face, his arms are gone. This is in oh bro bro your face is literally gone. I'm sorry guys, but I really didn't think it was gonna be that intense. Over there, over here is his poor hat. Bro Crow's poor hat scorched on the bottom. 
We just done surgery on him 30 minutes ago. We will cherish this and put it on Bro Crow's cousin. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at his shirt. Well, that's the wrong shirt. Look at his shirt. Oh, snap, man. Oh, that was so scary. I pulled on his shirt and his arm came out. That's something you don't want to see, guys. If there's anything I'd want you guys to do, just please go down and comment, rest in pieces, bro crow. Just please, RIP. Please press F to pay respects in the comments. Please, please press F. But my boy, bro crow, is no more. Oh my gosh, dude, just let's look around and see what we can find. Anything of Broker we can find will be cherished. So far we've got one limb. We have a hand. He didn't have legs, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh my goodness, there's pieces of his head everywhere. Oh my goodness, Broker man. I'll be honest, I didn't expect it to be that powerful. If there's anything Broker would want y'all to do, it would be to please just go to kindlegrade1.com slash shop and buy some merch. In the name of Broker, that's what he would want you to do, I promise. And you know what would pay him even more respect? If you bought the same SSOG shirt and SSOG hat and gloves and the sticker and the pop socket and the socks that Abram stole from him, that's what he would want you to do. Oh, no, bro. No. Ah, ah, I just fell. Buy some merch. <laughs> He's back. He's back. Thanks for watching another Kendall Gray video. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the like button, turn on post notifications. If you want some merch, head over to kendallgray1.com slash shops. Hashtag Jesus, hashtag Gray Gang.